Bro, <laughs> is that a fight? Wait, hold on. I did not look. <laughs> Big Big Benji. Benji. Big Benji. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to lift my up, bro. I'm embarrassed. It's fine. I'm like one of those guys that you can put me anywhere and I'll get on and I'll adjust. It don't take me long to 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 re- relate to people and um, familiarize myself and with my surroundings and stuff. And I'm pretty easy going, so it's like, you know, I've been to America before, so it's all good. That hand down, rotate. Well, we're at the sand dunes here. We're working some work capacity with Dill. So he's working power endurance. You know, he's working his legs and uh, he's getting after it. It's a good finisher for him. I mean, he's getting ready to, to get out of here and he's been working hard for the past, you know, month and a half. And he's, uh, he's putting it in. So this is his third session on the dunes and he's progressing a lot. That's horrible. Uh, see, there's no point in being in this game if you're not motivated uh, to get to the top, you know. I, I want to beat everyone that beat me. I want to have rematch with Fury, rematch with Jastry, you know, beating the other guy that beat me already. So, you know, that's the, the goal now is to get the get back. Good speed, good speed. Set, go, let's go, speed. Long time, speed. Good. You know, I was in the UK training Callum Smith, and uh, so I'd heard about Dylan, and, but I never met him. And I was hoping one day to meet him. You know what I mean? And then uh, it came about. Then uh, we met for about maybe 20 minutes. Then the next day we did mitts. And then boom, here we are. Forward with your chest up. Forward with your chest up. There you Sorry. go. But he's, um, he's a unique guy, you know. So, um, he's one of those guys, if you don't know him, you think he's a bit of a pain in the ass, but he's not really because he's on you about technical stuff. He's on you, you know. He's the kind of guy that you go, oh, I'm going to let you work the bag this round. I'm not going to say anything. And then two seconds is the throwing punch in the back. He's like, wait, wait, man, wait, man. Listen, man, keep your, stay in, stay in your show. Do this, you know what I mean? <laughs> Teach me to do everything. Move more efficiently, punch more efficiently, be more defensively alert, you know what I mean? Obviously, use my style, I'm, I'm, I'm my, my size and my speed. I try and get me to adjust my foot, my footwork and my defense and other things like that. Dylan, the Dylan's special. did you learn that, Dylan? It's a strange way of, of throwing punches. I mean, it's it's something crazy. You have to like really sit there and watch it. You know, he has um, a certain way, certain things that he does to distract the fighter. You can tell that he can fight whether it's in the ring or outside the ring, because he knows what he's doing. It might seem crazy or different to somebody else, but it works for him. And I can honestly say that the last few weeks, we found a way to make certain things work. And thank God so far they're working. <laughs> I'm a fighter, first of all. Like, I'm a fighter, I'm learning to box, I'm learning to box, I'm learning to, to stretch the mindset and fighting, I, I don't really need to work in that department. Look, see? Because sometimes the guy might start here and yeah. change the position. Yeah. yeah. Strong. Yeah. There is not strong. Here it needs to be strong. Coming off a, a loss, and it's always a good time to reassess and reset, question things and um, try and improve a few things. And at the time, me and my team, we felt like, these changes was needed, so, you know. The problem with boxing and fighting all day is people are bitches, you know, like, your buddies are, ah, oh, you know, I want to hold on to my hole. I don't want to fight this guy, I don't want to fight that guy. My record shows I fought dangerous guy one after another. I fought guys that no one wanted to fight. I just try and get the best opponent I can get, and at the time, he's the best opponent at the minute. He's 22 and all, you know, it's very hard to defeat a guy that's not, he doesn't know to lose, he doesn't know what defeat is yet, so it's very, it's always hard to beat someone up and take someone's own. That's, I, the guys in boxing will give an arm and a leg to defend that, you know what I mean? So for me, it's good, and you know, it's gonna be a good fight, exciting fight, and um, he's very confident. He's, you know, he seems to be saying a lot of things and he's up for fighting and he says, when he fights, means to knock me out and give me a rematch and this and the other, so he does know that stuff is sexy to me, so. You know, if you want to talk sexy talk, then we can get sexy. <coughs> a lot of people underestimate me. A lot of people don't think I'm as good as I am, I hit as hard as I am, I'm as fast as I am, I'm as strong and as slick as I am. And to win, when they actually in there with me, then it's too late, you're like, ah, oh, he punches a lot harder than I think he does. He moves a lot better than I think he does. He's a lot sharper than I think he does. People been underestimate me my whole life, so. So it's good, it's good, it's good. I love that, you know? And I know that generally coming to, to win as well, so I gotta be on my P, P's and Q's. Dillian's strength going into the fight is gonna be his um, experience. He has a very good boxing IQ. Uh, it's different, you know, his style is very different, but it works for him. And uh, 
He knows what he's doing, how he's doing it. He just needs to be reminded. So I think that with that, with his experience and his determination to get back to the top, to get in contention for the title, is going to get him through. It's a good fight for me. It's a good fight for Jermaine Franklin. Obviously, we both hungry guys. You know, obviously he's been around a long time. He's looking for his opportunity. Beating me gives him the golden key to the heavyweight division. And for me, obviously I'm fighting to bring my career back in line. You know, obviously. So it's a good fight. Obviously, I think people should tune in to watch. I buy tickets, come and see because it's gonna be a good fight. You know, I'm training hard. I'm, I feel good. You know, he says he feel good. He's he's out there sparring with Tyson Fury, which. He thinks gives him a physical or mental edge over me or whatever, so and it's good work for him too. So it's gonna be a good fight, you know. I love a knockout, but I'll take any victory, man. You know, worry about winning today and worry about looking good tomorrow. I'll take any victory. But I say all this now and I'm getting there and I'm just trying to trying to put someone's lights out, man. <laughs>